Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306 and back with another mysterious package. This one is labeled, it's from China, it's labeled um, LCL RCL Star 1. Which is really random. Anyway, so let's just give it a quick open and this is something I've been waiting for. I ordered from AliExpress and I believe this is actually the first thing I've ever ordered from them. And um... It has to do with the game console that I bought recently, the uh, Nintendo Switch, and you can see here it's the clear Joy-Con shell. So we're going to do an installation. <clears throat> and this guy came out to, I think it was about $20, uh, maybe a little less, but um, with free shipping, I believe. And while that's not necessarily the cheapest, um, I think that they're going to look really sharp. So, let's just pull it out of the packaging and see what's in the box. So, it does come with um, the Famicom, well, Super Famicom colored buttons, the uh, blue, green, red, yellow, and some screws, it looks like. Um, I'm probably going to go end up using the original screws. One thing that I've read about a lot of uh, these screw holes aren't really tapped on these guys, so I'm going to pre-tap them. Uh, to make sure I don't strip any screws and that they, they go in perfectly. I probably will end up not using these buttons. I'll probably just end up using the original ones because um, the quality on these might not be as good. I prefer more than it to look nice for it to feel nice. But anyway, so here are the uh, shells as they fall apart. These come with the, um, the mid-frame assembly on them, so that's nice. And uh, you can see... Um, they are a little glossy, which is nice. I expected them to be matte. They look like they were matte from the pictures. Um, time will tell, though, once we get these installed, how exactly they feel, if they uh, feel a little cheap and plasticky or not, and how well the tolerances fit everything. So, anyway, let's get straight into the, uh, the installation. Though, I'm going to have to go to a bigger table that has less junk on it, so let's get started.
Okay, as you can see, we're all back together, and these look really nice, actually. I do like that. Um, it's a glossy plastic as opposed to a slightly matte plastic that the original controller plastics were. Um, it's okay. So far, it feels okay. It does feel quite a bit flimsier, um, but only time will tell how exactly it uh, stacks up. In terms of the buttons, all the buttons feel okay, um, with the exception of the shoulders are a little meh, um, but that's sort of a sacrifice I had to make in order to uh, keep all the, the mid-frame assembly clear as well. You can see here it's uh, successfully paired, so the Joy-Cons still work. You just put it back on here. And um, if we go down to uh, controllers, uh, let's see. Well, yeah, both of them are fully charged, so we should be good. I believe there's a way of testing all the buttons, but it, it already looks like it all works. There we go, controllers, sensors. Test input devices. Test buttons. And yeah, <laughs> that just kicked us out of the menu. But yeah, you can see everything works here, um, which is really cool. So yeah, um, all in all, I'm actually very happy with this. We can just kick these off. Hi there. Anyway, you can see, yeah, all in all, 20 bucks, and it took me maybe about, maybe half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. Um, I was going pretty slowly because I heard horror stories of people stripping screws and uh, breaking the uh, screw standoffs and whatnot. So one thing that I did was I pre-threaded the screws. I used the original tri-wing screws, not the ones that it came with, uh, because they're a lot stronger, the original Nintendo screws. I pre-threaded them, and if I felt some resistance, I backed it off a bit, and then I uh, screwed it a little bit more in until they went fully in and then I cleaned off the threads after I removed the screws uh, to make sure that it went in with as little resistance as possible. Uh, one thing that I did on the second uh, remote, the first one, I put all the buttons in and then when I got towards the end then I realized I had to do that. Um, it was a lot easier threading those screws um, What before I even put all the buttons and the, the, uh, the main board in, so that was definitely a plus. Another thing was I um, I ended up removing the uh, NFC board and then the IR camera. I actually removed them from the connectors and they were quite difficult to get back in. So if I were to do this again, I would try my best carefully to remove them without having to disconnect those connectors. Um, but yeah, all in all, this came out really well. And um, I'll use these for the next couple weeks and then get back to you guys on in terms of how well uh, they work with the new shells. I opted to go with the original uh, buttons, not the uh, the Super Famicom colored buttons. Though I'm sure those would look neat. I kind of like this uh, black and clear aesthetic a little bit better. The only uh, improvement that I really think would be cool is if I could get um, these buttons in clear. Um, so the shoulder buttons. But anyway, it's not that big of a deal. You don't see them when it's uh, inserted into a unit or anything like that. But anyway, yeah, if you guys are interested, I will have a link down below to um, where I bought these guys. And if you enjoy videos like this, um, just let me know. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed these videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.